Hey guys, welcome back to Twist of Coastal Nightmare Mode. On the last episode, we were just about to start the practical exam. These are the safe paths for the Nightmare Mode. By the way, these ones are different. Anyway, let's move on. Yoroshi! <laughs> マジいや命の息吹を感じないええそいつは作り物の動く欠かしみたいなもんよそこそこ強めに設定してるけど決して勝てない相手じゃないわ例えばアークスの戦術リンクを活用すればねあ それでは始め遅い来るなら迎え撃つのみ任せてくれアークス駆動俺の番だなさあ生きに行くぞやっ<笑> みんな元気を出して逃さん俺の番だ行くぞそこだ行くぞ。そこだ。行くぞ。さて、と。さあ、一気に行くぞ。任せてくれごめんみんな任せてくれやありがとう行くぞありがとう俺の番だ行くぞそこだ僕の番だね行くぞうんうんよし俺の番だなそこださてと任せてくれうんまいやそれ行くぞ
さ一気に行くぞ任せてくれうんみんな元気を出してそこだよ立て直すぞうん俺の番だなそこださあ僕の番だねえいさあみんな先に進もう yeah, so basically my mistake was I was supposed to cancel that art I didn't expect it to one hit KO Elliot Oh man I didn't get the AP then よしな、なんとか勝てたうん、悪くないわね戦術リンクも使えたし急行車地下での実戦が効いてるんじゃないのほう<笑>いつの間にそんな対策をそれじゃあ次ラウラエマユーシス前に出なさいに苦戦させられたわねやっぱり戦術リンクが鍵になるみたいですねち面倒なものをしかしサラ教官先ほどのくぐつめいたものは一体何だったのだそそういえば機械見たことないかも。ある筋から押し付けられちゃったものでねあんまり使いたくないんだけどいろいろ設定できて便利なのよねまちゃんとテストの役に立ったし結果オーライということでさて実技テストはここまでよ先日話した通りここからはかなり重要な伝達事項があるわ君たち7組ならではの特別なカリキュラムに関するね。ふっ、さすがにみんな気になってたみたいね。それじゃ、説明させてもらうわ。君たちに課せられた特別なカリキュラム。それはズバリ、特別実習よ。特別実習ですかな、なんだか嫌な予感しかしないんだが。君たちには A 班、B 班に分かれて指定した実習先に行ってもらうわ。そこで期間中、用意された課題をやってもらうことになる。まさに、スペシャルな実習なわけね。学院に入ったばかりなのに、いきなり他の場所へええ、私がついていったら修行にはならないでしょ獅子は我が子を先人の谷にってねはあふん修行ならばむしろ望むところではあるがバレスタイン教官結局俺たちにいつどこへ行けと言うんだオッケー話を進めましょうさっきも言った通り君たちには A 班 B 班に分かれてもらうわさ一部ずつ受け取りなさいえ
ほう興味深い半分けだケルディックとパルムどちらも帝国の町なのかうんケルディックは東にある交易が盛んな場所だけどパルムは帝国南部にある宝石で有名な場所ですねあそこかめんどくさいなば場所はともかく B 班の顔ぶれはありえんな日時は今週末実習期間は2日くらいになるわ A 班 B 班ともに鉄道を使って実習地まで行くことになるわね各自それまでに準備を整えて英気を養っておきなさい I mean, j u s t i c e and Machias, you, you guys should just get along, you know? They haven't been able to apologize to her. And we can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. I'm pretty sure the other group has it worse. Considering those two are there, <laughs> but I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something. But when am I going to get the chance? Oh. おはようアリサおおはようその早いんだな待ち合わせの時間まで20分くらいあるのにそそっちこそえっと何時くらいに起きたのああ5時くらいかなまあいつもそれくらいには起きているんだけどなそそうなんだクラブの朝練でも確かまだどこにも入ってなかったわよねいや個人的な習慣みたいなものというかそっちはラクラスだったか朝練とかもあるのかえええ週に2日くらいみたいだけどどうして謝るんだ<笑>変に気が合うわねその本当にごめんなさいあれが偶然だっていうのは最初から分かっていたのにちょっと気が動転しちゃって頬まで叩いてしまってしかもあれって私を助けようとしてくれたのよねいや、気にしないでくれ。あの落とし穴にしたって、俺たちが怪我しないように安全は配慮してあった。俺が余計な気を回さなければ、怒らなかった事態だよ。で、でも、そんなことまではわからなかっただろうし。うん。やっぱり私の方が一方的に理不尽だったわ。それと、助けようとしてくれて、どうもありがとういやうんどういたしましてだな<笑><笑>すまないどうもこういうのは部長法で妹にもたまにたしなめられているんだけどあら妹さんがいるんだでもやっぱりそれも。こちらのセリフね。この半月、なんとかちゃんと話そうとしたんだけど、やっぱり気まずくって
つい変に避けてしまって。<笑>そっか。ま、でも先週の授業で、助け舟を出してくれようとしてなかったかき、気づいてたんだ。その、改めて話すきっかけにできるかなって思って。まあ、ちゃんと答えられてたから、必要なかったんだけど。いや、その気遣いだけでも、ありがたいよ。そ、そうそ、それはともかく。あなたに火がないのは認めるけど、それとこれとは話は別だからね。ええっと、何の話だだ、だから、あのことよ。なあ、もう、わかるでしょえっと、急行車の地下に落とされた時の一件だよな。ええ。私があなたの顔に胸を押し付けちゃった。と、とにかく、思い出すのも厳禁だから。いいわね。あ、ああ。了解だ。あれあと、二人ともおはよう。おはよう。いい朝だな。へへ、二人とも早いね。でもよかったじゃない。やっと仲直りできたんだね。そ、それは。<笑>まあ、おかげさまでね。<笑>それはよかった。正直、この半月余り、見ていて歯がゆかったからな。特にアリサは、念願叶って謝ることができたようで。ああああい、言っておくけど、同じ班で気まずいままなのはどうかと思っただけなんだからそこのところを間違えないでよねはいはい。うむ。仲良きことは結構なことだと思うが。<笑>メンツも揃ったことだし、早速出発するとしよう。列車が来るまで時間はあるから、店に寄ってもいいかもしれない。あ、うん。そうね。時間学院も早朝から開いてるって聞いたし。それじゃあ、勾配とか技術部で装備も整えられそうだね。では、行くとしようか。Oh, that looks nice. Give her Noi. And as for Lara. <laughs> like, she's wearing a dress and then carrying that big sword. <laughs> That's really peculiar. Let's give her the bunny ears. Yeah. Wait, actually, Noi suits better. And Alisa. Bunny ears, yeah. That looks better. So we got two noise here. <laughs> okay, now the accessories. Okay, for this. The flower, this. Let me just go to the boutique real quick. Okay. Oh no, I'm kind of broke. What should I sell? This is a bit confusing. Huh. 
Maybe I should just sell the Korea bomb. And buy this for Lara. I really need more mirror, so I better change some color sub pit into money. Let's do just that. Looks like I can't open anything yet as well. This is a bit of a trouble, actually. Well, not a choice. Oh boy. Well, this is the best I can do for now. I would need to grind a lot in that town later. Okay, let's just go back here real quick. off to the station. this up early. Are you all from class 7 aren't you? I've heard all about your first studies. I've opened the store earlier than usual just for you so pop in if you need anything. That's a good luck with everything. Haha <laughs> thanks we appreciate it. She's so sweet. She's making me blush. Good morning, everyone. Are you all preparing to leave as well? Morning. Good morning. 
You're all good to go, Dad. He has promised quite a distance from here. We're not likely to arrive before evening. Um, considering its relative location, there seems to be an accurate estimate. I guess it is the southernmost town in Erebonia. Makes you realize just how big the empire is. But, um. They're still at Ed, huh? Have they been like this the entire time? I'm afraid so. I think we may have underestimated how deeply rooted their differences are. I'm sick of them already. <laughs> huh. If only they were as willing to put aside their differences as Win and Alisa. Oh, now that, now that you mention it. I guess you were finally able to make up with him, huh? Yeah, I mean... That's a must, otherwise the first trip will be really awkward. It's not like we were getting along that poorly, like those two. Besides, we haven't known each other long enough to call it making up. That's good news, Reed. Well done. Haha, <laughs> thanks I guess. Why does everyone have to keep making such a big deal out of it? Because you were making a big deal out of it, Alyssa. <laughs> Time to go. Well, best of luck, though there's hoping you don't need it. Getting those two to work together sure doesn't seem like it'll be an easy task. We'll do what we can. It might be even harder than the first study itself. Good luck to all of you, please take care. It's our first field study, let's show them what we're made of. Yeah, of course. Later. I wonder if they'll be okay. Well, as long as Emma and Gaius are with them, things shouldn't get too out of hand. Now, Fee, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from her. She doesn't really seem like the type to cause a ruckus, at least. I'm concerned for them as well, but I believe we should be focusing on our own trials right now. You're right. Let's go buy our tickets. Yeah, that's true. Welcome, you're the students from Class 7, correct? And your destination today is Caldec. Yes, that's right. Because they're ready and waiting for us. Suspect instructor Sarah made considerable preparations on our behalf. She looks that way, not that I'm complaining. The train for Kardec will be departing from platform 1. It's not due just yet, but you can buy your tickets in advance if you like, and wait for its arrival. Sure. Very good, there's 4 passengers bound for Sardeg. I'll have those stickers for you in just a moment. So, it's about an hour to Sadek from here, right? Yes, I believe so. I had to change twins there when I originally came to Twista. Alright, you're from Lake Guam. That will be in the direction of 
very hard after changing at Sonic, right? That's correct. To which point it will be necessary to switch again at very hard. And situated in a very remote part of the country. Well, you can say the same for where I'm from too. As I understand it, Sonic's mostly known as a merchant town, right? Yeah, that's been their main source of tourism for some time, mostly thanks to the Grand Market. But I heard to go over what we know about the town before we would get there. As Elliot stated, Sardik is a market town at its core. It's in the eastern province of Kruzan, it has been a major trading hub for a very long time. It's also a major interchange station, connecting Himdal with Beria Heart and even Crossbow. The area itself is known for having a large number of granaries, though this has of course been overshadowed in recent years by the aforementioned Grand Market. Virtually anything can be procured there, from farm produce, jewels, and barrier hard first to imported goods from afar. It does sound awfully impressive, and I'm kind of looking forward to this now. It would be too if I knew we'd actually have a chance to, make, to take in the signs. But there's no telling what kind of crazy thing Structure Sarah has planned for us. Boy, isn't that the truth? Can't even hazard a guess as to what this food study might involve. Being part of our curriculum, though, it's a safe path to assume it won't be easy. If it were, it would hardly be worth the trip. I agree with Laura here. Personally, I'm looking forward to learning the true nature of our excursion. I suppose that it is a good way to look at it. Well, we'll find our answer when we get there. We're supposed to drop by the inn as soon as we arrive. There should be an envelope waiting for us there with details on our mission. Yeah, that's right. So this whole trip seems eerily well planned out, don't you think? Even the station employees knew we were coming. This goes to show how high the Academy's expectations are for all of you. Female voice, huh? Oh, it's you. Whoa. Instructor. I was wondering why you were nowhere to be seen this morning. Looks like Group A is all present and accounted for it. Good, good. That guy on the back, is he traveling alone? Ah, Poor him. And I'm relieved to see the two of you have finally managed to make up. You see that? As if it's old news. Have you been spying on us this whole time? Ahaha. So um, what brings you here, Instructor? So you were planning on staying back at the Academy. But considering this is your first time out in the field, I assume you'd be positively lost without me. So I decided to stick around at least until you finish checking in at the end. Oh well, thanks I guess, but... I think we could have used your help a little more. Exactly. Those two being there, would not have been better for you to accompany the others. Ah, uh, but they'd be a nightmare to deal with. <laughs> so even you don't want to deal with them. We still have to go to them though. If those two get out of control. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. See, she knew full well that Jesus and Marcus wouldn't get along, but put them in the same group anyway. Our instructor is a giant tool. I just suspect as much, but it's hard to believe she confirmed it so nonchalantly. I mean, putting Reen and Alisa on the same group might be also on purpose. Anyway, don't pay me any mind. You four feel free to keep talking. Didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm just going to take a little nap right here. What? She's asleep already? I mean, who sleeps that fast? It at least take me like 10 minutes to go to sleep. Incredible. I don't think I've ever seen someone less inclined to be an educator than her. Maybe we're better off just letting her sleep. I should probably wake her up when we got to Sadiq though. I mean, Alisa, people who behave like all happy in the outside like that usually tends to be the smartest, but anyways, let's talk to when I came to the academy, I never thought I'd find myself visiting the grand market of Saldek as part of my studies. I've read about it before, but this will be my first time seeing the place in person. 
Oh, really? Well, for study or no, then I guess it's still something to look forward to. Is there anything in particular you're hoping to see there? Um, the gems and fruits from Very Hard, maybe? They say some of the highest quality goods produced by Very Hard's artisans are sold at the great market. It sounds like it will be worth seeing for sure, but somehow I doubt we'll be able to afford anything there. Still, if we got a chance, we should go check it out together while we're in town. Hey, that sounds like fun. Hey, I almost forgot I had these. I just picked them up on a whim a little while ago. Oh yeah, that. But you have a pack too. Just got a set of my own from the pawn shop in Twista. Really, that's perfect, Dan. How about we play a few hands? Seems like we've got some time to kill before we arrive. You know the rules. Yeah, they're not that complicated, so I don't think anyone here will have any trouble picking it up. Sounds like a good way to pass the time to me. Indeed, it seems like it could be an enjoyable diversion. Alright, let's give it a try then. I will play Blade with Lava, I guess. I wonder what precisely this third solid twist will involve. I can't even fathom a guess. Likewise, the weirdest part for me is the divide between group A and group B. Why were we split up and sent to different places? And most bizarrely of all, why were Marquias and Juices placed in the same group? It's like they're just asking for trouble. It does seem quite illogical. I can only assume there's a hidden purpose to these trips beyond what we've been told. It has multiple purposes requiring multiple groups to fulfill. Yeah, that's my best guess too. There has to be something going on behind the scenes here. Which is why I wanted to ask the structure, so a few more questions, but well... I don't think she'll be doing much answering. Perhaps she fell asleep deliberately to avoid addressing such concerns. My structure is quite a formidable opponent. That's one way to describe her, because we're just going to have to work out the meaning of this bit study trips on our own. Okay, enough talking, let's play the blade. I don't think Sawa will be answering anyway, so. Ken no Yugi. さて、カードを引くがよい。うん。こちらの先手か。イカズチよ。やるな。こう、そうくるか。鏡よ。<笑> やるな。やるな。やるな。鏡よ。良い勝負であったな。Oh no. Come on. Oh, you can't do that. Oh. Whatever. Ah. Uh. Wow. It's beautiful. What a spectacular view. Why planet last fall seems almost ready for harvesting. Now, I thought why could only be harvested in the fall. But the soil in this area is supposed to be extra fertile due to, to the warmer climate. So things are a little different here. The view really is amazing there. It looks like something out of a painting. <laughs> Thank you. 
ケルディックケルディックバリアハート方面にお越しの方は次でお乗り換えとなります Almost there I guess I should wake instructor Sawa ここがケルディックかのんびりした雰囲気だけど結構人通りが多いんだなあちらの方にある大一目当ての客だろう外国からの商人も多いと聞くなるほどデートとは違った客層が訪れてるのねちなみに特産品はライ麦を使った地ビールよ君たちは学生だからまだ飲んじゃダメだけどねいや、勝ち誇られても別に悔しくありませんけどさてとそれじゃ早速今日の宿を案内してあげるわと言ってもすぐそこなんだけどあはいお願いしますはい。But yeah, not gonna lie, Alyssa actually looks pretty good in that casual outfit. Hey there, Margaret. Well, if it isn't Sarah, what are you doing here? I knew the kids were coming, but I didn't think you'd be coming with them. I just figured I'd help them get Saturn in before I left. I'm pretty sure your real reason is. To drink beer. <laughs> And here they are, my lovely students. But now, aren't they a youthful looking bunch? It's a pleasure to meet you. First year students from Tours Military Academy Class 7. I'm Reed. I'm Alyssa, thank you for putting us up. Pleasure's all mine, I assure you. I'm Margaret, the owner of this humble establishment. Sarah、so、here has taken care of all your arrangements. Come, I'll show you to your room. Thank you, ma'am. Much oblique. I'll leave you to it then. Look, it's gonna get some beer and snacks. See, t o c h a I'll bring them right over. You don't know it's not even noon though, right? There's nothing wrong with drinking beer before noon. This is the room you're all going to be staying in tonight. Wait, we're all? Yeah, this is.
more than enough space for our needs. Thank you very much. But there are four bats, which means, I mean, in my opinion, it's fine as long as the bats are separate. Are you suggesting we sleep in the same room as the boys? I had my doubts about that too. That's how I insisted, so that was that. I broke the bass into groups of two to make things less awkward, but that was about the best I could manage. Uh, I don't... This is going to be a problem. I don't have a problem with it personally, but I can imagine the girls will be quite as accepting. Yeah, I mean, I guess from the girls' perspective it's a bit... extreme. Honestly, I don't believe we have a choice here. We are military students. We mustn't allow the prospect of mixed gender accommodations to face us. At least Laura is cool about it. I know that, but I don't think you know that. In the army, women share rooms with men. It's a fact of life, born of necessity. We will need to adjust to this reality sooner or later, and this does seem a perfect opportunity. Okay, I get it. But if either of you two comes anywhere near our beds, uh, I wouldn't dream of it. Likewise. I wasn't talking about you, Elliot. I was referring to a certain someone else who already has a history of this kind of thing. Uh, that's rude to Elliot, you know? He's also a man. <laughs> Maybe we can change we into the bad. I thought she'd gotten over that. Haha, <laughs> guess not 100%. Anyway, now that your room is all sorted, let me give you this. Isn't that our academy's emblem? Let's just contain the details of our assignment here. That's what I've been told, yes. If you need anything during your stay, you just let me know. For now, I'll leave you to get settled in. Alright, shall we have a look inside? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, two compulsory and one side quest. Monster scary dinosaur. Replace a malfunctioning open light. When I have some ingredients, I need to take make a particular medicine. Okay. This is our field study. Just looks like a list of menial tasks to me. It's a monster elimination request at least, but that's the most we have. I see, so that's her angle. Uh, excuse me? Did you figure something out? Oh no, it's nothing. We should go and talk this over with Instructor Sarah. She probably stuck around specifically to answer any questions we might have. Um, you may be right, and while we're at it, we can quill her about this commoner room she signed us up for too. That one is not that important. But anyway guys, I will end the episode here. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.